Hello and welcome to another video. I have here a ADC 16 C36. It comes from Opel Vivaro or Renault Traffic. I saw it's also a Nissan fitted. I have done a video, short video on YouTube, trying to read this issue with Flex on bench and uh, I have no success. After that I post the video and I don't know, a few hours later or also next day, I started to have messages from you. Most of you know about these things. Flex can also have a problem mainly on these old issues. Also, if you have an expensive tool, it doesn't mean he can do everything. Uh, I'm not so stupid to tell you something if it's not true. And I will um, explain to you why I make this video. I make this video because in the meantime, I read this issue with another programmer and I managed to read and write this issue. I put it on the car and when I start to see these comments, I was like a little bit pissed, uh, people telling I unplugged the wire and one of the wires on the left side and this is why he doesn't make connection. I don't know which fucking wire because he have only one wire connected on the left side. I do have also another comments when the people saying you select a wrong issue or something that I don't know or pinout is not uh, correct showed by him flex and it's not true. The pinout is, is correct. I check also on that day when I tried to read with flex I said okay maybe they have issue let uh, give a look and I check on other programmers and they are also the same, they have the same pinout. And I said, okay, if these things happen, if the people uh, really believe then it was one of my mistakes and maybe it is a user mistake, let's see. I said, how okay, can I show you? I didn't speak uh, bullshit and uh, I try to be honest and tell you exactly what the problem it is. Always, I don't give a fuck it's the uh, best company in the world or is the cheapest program or is the most expensive one. If this work, work, if not, not. Before to move forward, you should know you know already, Flex is one of my favorite programmers, I mind for the tuning, definitely is my favorite programmer, but it cannot do everything. And the people, most of them, they doesn't accept to see this kind of videos and they bump me with the messages. It's like, uh, it was your fault. Let's see if it was my fault or not. Today, uh, we will try to read this issue. I will show you which programmer will use it. Okay, I have this one. We have this one. And if it's not enough, then people to understand, I don't make jokes when I make these videos. We have also another expensive programmer. It's similar, almost similar with uh, Flex on the price. Okay. And we have also this one. Let's put it here, then you can see better. And now those people who believe I make these videos because I do have uh, a lot of time and I'm I'm boring and this is the reason why I do these videos. They should know they are very wrong. I work and I fuck my time trying to make videos, make the people to understand. And uh, I really hate when you comment and you have no fucking idea. Okay, just leave a comment if you know and leave a comment if you had experience or not. Tell me, okay, I read this issue, but it can happen in your case doesn't work. It, it is possible. Everything is possible, but don't tell me I put the wrong pin out. Uh, I take the wrong issue and all of this shit. Let's connect again the flex. I will connect again the flex and we will try to give a read showing also on the camera the connection for those who are believe I lose my time showing you bullshit. Okay, give me one second to make the connection because we don't lose the time and we go straight to the problem. Flex is connected to the issue. Software is started. This is our car with 115 horsepower. Notice this is the issue, we can do it only on bench and boot. Okay. Pay attention again. I don't know which wire I remove it on the left side because you don't have two wires on the left. It's only one here and here. And you have here the CAN communication, okay, the CAN line and plus and minus. Let's try to connect to the issue. I hold the issue like that and you'll see. Or not for you. This is for these fuckers who believe I make uh, jokes. I will don't try to read with uh, second version because I know exactly this is the good connection, the first one. And this is uh, what we will keep it also for the next uh, ones. It's only here is the difference, okay? Now let's connect another programmer and uh, see if they work or not. Auto flasher is also connected. Uh, let's go also on the wiring diagram. This is the pinout. You notice it's similar with uh, flex. You have it also here on the corner. We go back and we try to identify the issue. 
you notice we have authorization from the server. He tried to connect with the ECU. And you have error. At this moment it's strange, okay, when you have a flex with 7,400 euro and also this one, you have two programmers who cost a lot of money, you believe, okay, maybe the ECU have problem. It was also what I told because I tried after flex when I was at home to make it with auto flasher and uh, I said, okay, maybe it's problem with the ECU. Let's open the ECU and read it on, on boot because you can read it also on boot on or BDM. I have uh, read in the past this ECU with uh, Kitag on BDM and it make a good job, okay? Let's close this one, connect another programmer and see if it's really correct or not. Pay attention. I didn't move it, I didn't touch it. I keep it like that and you will see I don't make changing on connections. I close this one and we will plug another programmer. The VVDA is connected. Let's pay attention to the wiring diagram. This is a pinout. You notice it's the same position, similar one to one with uh, Flex. Because most of the time, first programmer who released this protocol is Flex or Alien Tech or in the last time also Auto Tuner. And another company, they will copy this diagram from them. Let's try to um, read. I will go to read the EEPROM because it's faster if we have connection. We don't lose the time reading all the issue because I know already he will connect and he will make the readings. What I want to tell you is that that we should know when something works or not and if something doesn't work you should accept, okay? It doesn't matter, it's the best on the market. Takes little bit time comparing with uh, FC200. Connecting, but when you make the readings, it's also fast. We have the data. I will disconnect from here. We move to FC200. And you'll see also the FC200 is able to read this issue. The FC200 is also connected. Now I believe you see better. I have problem on FC200 because the wire are very short. I do like the quality, but they are very short and also the adapter. Look, it is not equal with the programmer. If somebody from FC200 look on this video, they should know, they should pay attention on the details because you cannot have a programmer playing like this. Should have the same size when he stay on the tissue, okay? Let's show also the connection. You notice we can read this one only on a bench, we don't have a boot option. It's the same diagram, nothing changed. We try to connect. And I tell you honest, I was thinking maybe to sell this programmer to don't keep it because I have two good programmers. I mind the uh, Flex and Auto Flasher who are really good. And uh, okay, the Auto Flasher is based on Flex license, but I said, why oh, I should keep so many programmers. I do have also the VVDI and I do have a friend who suggests me don't sell it, keep it. And I have also subscribers who are also saying like that. They are really happy with the FC200. I do have more people on the channel who work much uh, more intensive than me with this programmer. And they give a good feedback. And this was the main reason why I didn't sell it and I keep it. We are connected. Let's try to read the EEPROM. Perfect. Now let's try to read also the flash. The P-Flash, you cannot read it. Actually, the P-Flash on this case is a micro flash. If you compare with Kitag, for those who read with Kitag on BDM or boot mode, and on the bench, you don't have this option. It's like in many of these old issues, you don't have these options. I tell you, I was quite surprised. I do like, in fact, the FC200 improved a lot in the last time. They have a lot of protocols, and I do believe if they will keep going like that, they will be on the same level with Auto Tuner and uh, let's say also Alientech. I do believe the Flex will stay one of the best on the market. In my opinion, it's the best. Is this the reason why I have it? And this is the reason why I use it. It's just my opinion. You can judge me. You have the comments below, but judge me if you are sure for something. Like, as I said, don't tell me I unplug the wires and making a Flex to have issues. It's the best program what I have it. Why the fuck I should do like that? I didn't save the data. I skip it because uh, I have it already. Okay, now let's also write this issue. He asked me if I want to uh, verify the file. I will say no. 
because I make the uh, checksum correction manually. I don't need it to make the for me the checksum correction. You will write only the difference on the issue. Uh, I do apologize. Let's go down. As I said, I skipped the checksum correction because I believe this issue it was the first one on the server because the FC200 asked me for permission if I uh, give them permission to have the original data for checksum correction. I give it. If you want to help this company with uh, files and making the checksum correction better and better, always try to read first the flash because it's the flash what you needed for checksum correction. He will ask for the original one. He will compare the data with the modified files. Step by step this programmer I'm sure he will be one of the best but as I said I don't drink too much. I know he will never can catch the flex because the flex is the best on the market and FC200 is really far away. This doesn't mean if the flex have problem reading this issue the FC200 is better than flex. No. Totally wrong. It happens. But this is the main reason why you should have more than one programmer, okay? Let's close these readings from here. We will close the video. I have not so much to show you. It was mainly made because I was really pissed on these uh, stupid comments. I don't know if you learned something from here. Maybe the only things what you should learn is you need more than one programmer to do your job. I mentioned again, if the flex failed now to reading on bench, it doesn't mean it cannot read it on boot. I have done this job in the past with Flex and he can make a very good job on boot. But the reason it is I don't want to open the ECU. If I have possibility to read it on bench, why not? You have these protocols there. I don't know what happens why he cannot read it. Maybe if you have experience with Flex reading this uh, EDC 16C36 in the past, let me to know because it can happen to be a, a problem with the software with the software updates because in the last time they release a lot of uh, updates everything is possible as I said I'm happy for me it's the best programmer on the market it doesn't have a replacement at the moment this one it's also a great programmer it's the sun from flex because they use the protocols and you saw if the flex failed this one also failed it's looking like another ones on the market but inside the brain from what I know it is from flex I do apologize I was interrupted. Functionality and protocols they are from Flex. I didn't open it because of the warranty and this is warranty life from both of them. I can open it but I don't want to lose it. Why I should do like that? If you're still paying the updates every year, the license is for life and this is what I like it. Comparing with another programmers they give you only 3 years, 5 years warranty. No, this is if you'll pay the license it should have also the warranty 20 years later. Regarding to the FC200, I have only to say like I was surprised. I, I'm really happy to have this small programmer here because for his money it's nothing. I don't know how much it costs at this moment but I believe it's around 750 something like that 700 750. I'm on with these adapters. Also the programmer from VVDI. I have it I don't use it for ECU because I take it with another propers. I take it to use it for MCU and EEPROM. It's one of the best what I have it. I do have another programmers and I will show you in another video because you are also asking which programmer do I using. Uh, mainly these are my original programmers what you see it here. I do have also another fake programmers, clones and such of things, but I still have the uh, key tag. Original, I, don't, I make a video because this one is not a case to show you reading on BDM. I don't know if you learn something from here. I don't know if this video will be useful for you. The most important things, you should not believe one programmer can do everything. This is wrong, okay? This is advice for beginner. Mainly these videos are for beginners. I do have also fuckers on the YouTube. And uh, it's good because they keep it uh, my heart pumping. And if the heart pumping, I will be always young. Okay. I will tell you thank you for watching. And see us to the next video. Bye bye.